Paul, your team's quickness seemed to return tonight somewhere in the second period. How did that come about? I, I think it came off and understand they were doing the right things. We, we didn't put ourselves in a position that we were chasing the game or uh, chasing the puck around the ice. We were pretty darn smart with what we did with the puck. Uh, and then we got into the rhythm that you start to anticipate the right decision um, instead of slowing down. So I think we got a little bit quicker, a little bit faster and, uh, you know, maybe a little tight at the start of the game, but we had to establish a certain amount of uh, consistency with what we were doing. I thought we did that tonight. We'll go next to Jeff Hamilton from the Winnipeg Free Press. Go ahead, Jeff. Hey, Paul, how much, how much of, you know, this recent streak here is, is just not finding that success early on, you know, coming out of the gates, playing strong, you know, somewhere in the first 10 minutes, getting a quality scoring chance and just not putting in and eventually just having to play from behind. Maybe I felt a little bit that, that tonight, you know, we had the two really good chances there at the start that you know, hit a post and, couldn't get the other one to go for us. I think we double hit the second one. So there's a little tightness there offensively. And, and uh, you kind of feel like you're in a better position to score some goals or some tips around the net. There's some, there's some good things that aren't just aren't going for you a little bit. I don't think there was a tremendous amount of offense in that game from what, uh, clearly from what we'd seen in the last game for both teams, maybe, but a um, little tight offensively, but I'm not, you know, I mean, there, there was enough there to feel good about uh, some of your chances. We'd like to generate a little bit more, and I think we'll put ourselves in a position to do that. Next to uh, Ken Weeb from Sportsnet. Go ahead, Weber. Well, uh, going into the game, you talked about trying to limit their transition game. How are you? How do you feel about how you did in that aspect of the game? Yeah, this I, I, I mean, clearly, I mean, it's not relative to the last game because anything would have been better, but. Uh, much, much better in terms of what we gave up off the rush. To, and, and then the chaos sometimes that's caused, even if they don't score, the chaos was was not there for them. Uh, I felt in, in our defensive zone, the, um, um, you know, I, I mean, if, if the biggest chance we gave up was off a broken stick. You know, Josh broke his stick and, and they come down. So early in the game, I, th I thought we had to establish it. It took us um, to a while to do both, to be able to to limit them a little bit off the rush and then try to generate some things for ourselves. We'll go next to back to Jeff Hamilton from the free press. Go ahead, Jeff. Well, six, six straight losses against these guys. And, you know, obviously they're going to be, or they're most likely going to be your first round opponent. What, what have you seen in these games that gives you the confidence that you can win for against them? Or what do you need to do from now till then to get that confidence? I think you saw it tonight. I think the game that we played tonight, um, you know, if you if you can play that game, then from a positive viewpoint, we're not right now, right? Like it's a, it's a bit of a grinder for us. Obviously, you get a you get a a better uh, feel about your opportunity going into the game. So, there, like I said, the chaos is the thing when you have some elite players on the other team that you worry about the most. Um, putting them in a position where it becomes a skill contest, you you know, you're gonna have a hard time beating that team with those two players on their lineup. They, they're just that good. Um, so, yeah, you, you over the next handful of games we want to play this take the same template even if they're low scoring games um, not give up anything off the rush try to limit that as much as we possibly can regardless of our opponent then you take that game into the playoffs we'll go next to Murat Atash from the Athletic go ahead Murat thanks Gregor hi Paul I, I'm trying to think of ways that a team limits a team that good off the rush and I imagine a lot has to do with how you guys cover off in the neutral zone I'm wondering what are the details that go into that? It looked like your shifts were super short, but that can't be all it. I mean, what are the things that go into improving that play? Yeah, so before you can talk about limiting a team in the neutral zone, so it wasn't really off transition that it was a problem from, from their blue line to our end. It was from their end to our end, and it started for a lot of the what we did with the puck and where we were standing when those turnovers happened. We, we could never recover from them. So being on the right side of your check when you don't have the puck and then also being in a strong position, you know, to generate offense and then not give anything up because, I mean, every time you, you shoot a puck, there's a potential change of possession and you want to shoot pucks, right? So you, you want possession in the offensive zone, but you eventually want to give it up. I, I thought early in the game, um, we, 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 we missed an opportunity to shoot some pucks. And, then, and uh, other than that, um, Positioning in the offensive zone with and without the puck is the critical piece to, to not being behind it when it starts. We'll go next to Paul Friesen from the Winnipeg Sun. Go ahead, Paul. Paul, as you know, you often refer to a team feeling it 
right now you guys aren't feeling it, obviously. How, how can you help get this team's good feeling back? Is there anything in your playbook for this? Well, you know what? You, you've got to uh, – It's it would be no different than dealing with an individual who's not scoring. You know, when you start, are there chances? Are you generating chances? What are the things to do? So a team – it's like tonight, when you, we will look at that video tomorrow – from what we wanted to do, we accomplished a great big chunk of that. You know, we, we did what we set out to do here tonight, and we've got to build on that. So um, once you, you know, you've got to, if you can't get the win in the game, you've got to leave the rink feeling like you're moving in the right direction. I think we did that here today. We'll go next to Sean Reynolds from Sportsnet. Go ahead, Sean. Hey, Paul, moving Stastny up uh, beside Wheeler and Connor and moving Dubois down, what were you uh, hoping to accomplish with that uh, just a different look again. We, we've um, wanted to see the. I wanted to see parole with that. Give uh, Pierre Luke a different match. I mean, they had two very strong centermen there. Wanted to run them with a different match. That's all. And final question to Jeff Hamilton from the Free Press. Go ahead, Jeff. Well, how much of that decision to move Pierre Luke between those two guys was to maybe give him some control back on the line? rather than maybe having to adjust to two wingers who are used to kind of, you know, running the, their line. So I thought that in so in the four-game set that he just played, the first two were really, really strong, and, and, and I would agree with you 100%. I think we started to see his game, and then I didn't think that happened at all in the next one. So I, I, I thought in the 6-1 game that he deferred. It happened. It cost us a goal um, where he, he was playing his game for his wingers. And what we wanted to get him back to was just you go out and play your game and let these two guys adjust off you and establish it. So now, I'm, you know, three out of the four games that he's played, I'm, I'm comfortable with them. And I was very excited about the first two, starting to see his own personality, his own style of play come out. A um, little different match out here for him today. So I thought, you know, he was physical. He was on the body. Um, two new line mates, but he was really engaged with both those guys on the, on the bench. So... We're just trying to develop his own individual game and get him to play that regardless of who's hanging on his wings. Thanks very much, Coach. Cheers.